7 Things to do in Lusaka Lusaka is the capital and largest city of Zambia. One of the fastest developing cities in southern Africa, Lusaka is located in the southern part of the central plateau at an elevation of about 1,279 meters. As of 2010, the city's population is about 1.7 million, while as the urban population is 2.4 million. Lusaka is the center of both commerce and government in Zambia and connects to the country's four main highways heading north, south, east and west. Number 7. Get your arts fill at Chamanuka Lodge. It only takes a 40-minute drive from Lusaka to find Chamanuka Lodge, home to amazing African art, in the house, gardens, guest rooms. The 50 years in the making private collection of contemporary African paintings, sculpture and artifacts was acquired from the four corners of Africa with many works created by Zambia's leading artists. Chamanuka comprises of 30 separate suites, four fully furnished villas, three libraries, two restaurants, a billiard room, tennis court, swimming pool, jacuzzi and several insakas, lounge areas, Relax in private, sip a sundowner and soak up nature and art in one fell swoop. Number 6. Join playtime at Lilae Elephant Nursery. Elephant enthusiasts will not want to miss Lilae Elephant Nursery, where orphan baby elephants are rehabilitated. The calves are highly dependent on their moms, emotionally and physically, so motherless calves won't have it easy. Fortunately, this nursery provides much-needed care through ongoing critical support by the David Shepherd Wildlife Foundation. Visit the viewing platform near the entrance where you can see the baby elephants splashing about. While there, consider spending the night at the splendid Lilae Lodge. It comprises of charming deluxe and family chalets along with all the modern amenities. Plus. There is scrumptious African fusion in contemporary dining, including meat derived from the 100-acre game farm and organic veggies and herbs from the garden. Number 5. Get crafty at Henry Visual Arts Center in Jackal and Hyde. Named after Zambia's most famous multilingual fine artist and raconteur, the Henry Visual Arts Center is worth a visit. All contemporary work is displayed on rotating exhibits, which include paintings, sculptures and carvings. Also be sure to check out Gilly Lightfoot's new venture. The creator of the fabulous tribal textiles in the South Luangwa, moved to Sugarbush Farm on the outskirts of Lusaka, as she wanted to start another business to again work hands-on with local craftspeople. Leave it to her to discover a source of locally tanned cowhides. In a country with no leather goods manufacturing, Gilly started Jackal and Hyde, working with a new team of tailors to design and craft a range of high-quality leather handbags and accessories imbued with an African flair. Number 4. Journey Through Ancient Zambia at Lusaka National Museum the Lusaka National Museum opened to the public in 1996, and has proven to be a must-see tourist attraction as well as an active research and educational center. There are two galleries of heritage objects. The lower gallery houses contemporary art and illustrates the Zambian way of life through painting, sculpture and machetes. The upper gallery tells a glowing story of Zambia's development from ancient times through to present life. There's also a children's corner on the upper floor and a live demonstration in the art of traditional pottery making. Number 3. Have a scally adventure at Kalimba Reptile Park. Don't upset the slithery reps or smile at a crocodile. About a half hour's drive outside of Lusaka is Kalimba Reptile Park, offering lots of scaly sights and activities. The park is filled with crocs, both the giant Nile type and the rare slender nosed sort. You will also find a variety of deadly, indigenous snakes, tortoises, and other cold blooded creatures. Make a day's outing of it, there's plenty to do, from munching on a croc burger, 
tastes like chicken, to fishing, golf, volleyball or table tennis. Number 2. Ride a bamboo bike with Zambikes. For the past six years, Zambikes has produced high-quality bamboo bicycles. We're not bamboozling you. The building techniques and technology to make a lighter-weight bicycle with a sturdy bamboo frame was developed over more than a decade. Zambikes harnessed the technology, refined it and has since made affordable bamboo bikes fit for African roads. For every bicycle frame Zambikes make, five Zambians are employed. They cite Crispin, who now has a new house and food for his family, and Danny, who can now open a grocery store and finish his 12th school year. What's more moving than that? Three cheers for Zambikes. And finally here is the number one. Discover Zambian Blossoms at Mundawanga Environmental Park. Mundawanga started in 1956 as a private garden and has since blossomed into Zambia's premier environmental education facility, which includes a wildlife park and sanctuary, botanical gardens, recreational village and environmental center. They not only rehabilitate injured animals for re-entry into the wild, but also acquire, propagate, exhibit, conserve and care for indigenous and exotic flora and fauna for the benefit of the community. Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, please hit like button to support our channel. And subscribe to our channel to see further new video that we will upload every day. Also don't forget to like our Facebook page. The City. Please have a nice day.